Irish doodles make a wonderful companion dog. They do not do very well if left alone for long periods of time. Irish doodles are a hybrid dog breed that was created by mixing a breed with a breed. Irish doodles inherit a mix of genes from each of their parents that give them their unique and fun personality. This breed is very active, fun, and intelligent. However, they can also be very affectionate and love spending time with the people they care about. Since poodles have a non-shedding coat, Irish doodles are also hypoallergenic and rarely, if at all, shed. An Irish doodle's personality can make them a great family dog. Like both of their parents, this breed does exceptionally well with children. They can vary in size a bit depending on the specific genes they inherit from each of their parents. There are also mini Irish doodles that are the result of an Irish setter being bred with a miniature poodle. They may also be called Irish doodle setters, Irish poo setters, Irish setter poo, and setter doodles. There are both standard Irish doodles and mini Irish doodles. Male standard Irish doodles are larger and generally weight between 50 and 70 pounds and are between 24 and 28 inches tall. Female standard Irish doodles are a bit smaller with a weight between 40 and 60 pounds and a height between 22 and 26 inches. Mini Irish doodles are smaller. They have a miniature poodle, rather than a standard poodle, for half of their genes. Mini Irish doodles are typically between 12 and 17 inches tall and weigh between 25 and 35 pounds. LL Irish doodles will not develop all, or even any, of these health issues, but knowing what to look out for can help ensure you bring your pup to the vet in a timely manner if needed. Whether you purchase your dog from a breeder or adopt one through a rescue, schedule an appointment with a veterinarian shortly after bringing your dog home for a checkup. Bloat is one potential problem standard Irish doodles may face. Bloat is a condition that impacts larger dogs with a deeper chest. The dog's stomach fills with air and twists and the dog is not able to expel it. Their stomach will become visibly swollen. Bloat is a serious and life-threatening condition, and you'll want to rush your pet to the vet if you suspect they have it. Hip dysplasia may also impact this breed. This inherited disease causes the hip bone not to form correctly. The hip and thigh bones rub against one another, which cause pain and makes it difficult for an pet to walk. Surgery is often required to address hip dysplasia. A third concern for this breed is Addison's disease, or hypoadrenocorticism. Dogs with this disease have decreased hormone production from their adrenal glands. This can cause diarrhea, vomiting, weight loss, increased urination, or lethargy. If you suspect your dog has Addison's disease, take them to the veterinarian who will be able to run some tests and determine the best course of treatment. To recap, a few common health concerns that Irish doodles may face include Bloat hip dysplasia Addison's disease Irish doodles have a very loyal and affectionate personality. This mixed breed also aims to please their owners and is very intelligent, which can make them easier to train than other breeds. An Irish poo setter's traits makes them a wonderful addition to any household, including families with children. They can be very gentle and loving with children and can also make a good playmate for a child. However, while this breed make a wonderful companion dog, they do not do very well if left alone for long periods of time. This breed is more prone to separation anxiety than others, and they may become destructive or engage in other undesired behaviors. Irish Doodles are a wonderful breed, but they also have unique needs when compared to other dog breeds. You'll want to keep their unique needs including their personality, nutritional needs, activity needs, and health concerns in the forefront of your mind. This will help you provide the best care possible for your dog so they can live a happy and healthy life.
standard Irish doodles and mini Irish doodles will have different nutritional needs. Standard Irish doodles should be fed a large breed dog food, while mini Irish doodles should eat a small breed food. Choose a high quality food and keep in mind that a dog's activity level, age, metabolism, and other factors will impact the ideal amount of food they should be fed. Most dog food bags have general guidelines based on a dog's weight, but you can also consult with your veterinarian if you are unsure of exactly how much food your dog should need. Portion an Irish Setter Poo's daily allotment of food into two meals, one in the morning and one in the evening. This can reduce the chances of obesity and make it less likely for an Irish doodle, particularly a standard doodle, to develop bloat. Irish doodle setters puppies should also be fed a high-quality puppy food. Since puppies have a very small stomach, they can't handle large quantities of food at one time. Before your puppy turns six months old, feed them three to four smaller meals instead of just two meals. Then, once they are six months old, cutting down to two meals should be fine. With their poodle parent, an Irish doodle's coat doesn't shed much, if at all. Their coat may either be wavy or curly, with curly coats shedding the least amount. Since their coat does not shed, it can easily become very matted or tangled if it isn't brushed regularly. Be sure to brush your dog's coat each day to keep it soft and looking its best. You may occasionally need to trim the hair on your Irish poo setters if it gets too long. This is especially true for the ear hairs, since if they get too long it can cause dirt to build up which can lead to an ear infection. To prevent dental disease, you should also brush your dog's teeth a few times a week. Their nails should also be trimmed if they get too long to prevent them from causing the dog any pain. An Irish doodle is relatively easy to train. However, they will need some repetition and practice to master different commands and retain what they learn. Training the dog when they are still a puppy is also advised as it can improve the training process. If you haven't had this variety of dog before, you may find it beneficial to enroll in an obedience training class with a more experienced trainer. These dogs are very intelligent and eager to please, which can make it easier to train them than some other breeds. You will also want to start socializing your setter doodle from a very young age. Take your dog with you to a variety of locations and expose them to different people and other dogs. This will help them learn expectations in different scenarios and improve their temperament when they are full grown. However, you should wait until your puppy is fully vaccinated before taking them too many places.